Hi everyone and welcome to a brand new episode of Beardy Reviews. This video we're going to be talking about the new trailer for the film that Lei won't shut up about. Fantastic Beasts, I'm glad to find them! And how could I do a HBU trailer review without this Slytherin? Hello, Amora. I'll say it right now, this trailer looks amazing. Unlike a lot of trailers nowadays, it doesn't give too much of the plot away because of the way the shots have been presented out of order. But here at Beardy Reviews, we like to use Aloha Mora to unlock its secrets and find out more. So let's get started. So we get a little intro to our lead, Newt's Commander, the author of the titular book, narrated by Colin Farrell's best Batman voice. What Percival Graves says in this intro is very interesting. And could work into a theory that we'll talk about in another video. There's an Alba stumble or a name drop, which made people think there might be a cameo, but I really hope not because I don't want it to overshadow the new cast. We get a shot of the famous suitcase. It looks a bit old and the locks are a bit broken. A bit of foreshadowing for when the beasts get out, as we see here with the little Nefla fingers sticking out. We get a look at this set, which we'll explain where it is later. There's all kinds of cages here, presumably to capture some of the smaller beasts. I'm not sure what this slab of meat is for, but there's some syringes, a mug, some potion bottles, and other utensils along with some books. Newt shows us his herbology and or potion skills. We have a shot from the perspective of something flying, which again we're going to touch on later. Shot of poor Patina Goldstein and the gang, looking very roaring 20s in this speakeasy looking place. Then we see Newt at this expensive looking bank, looking very worried about something that's happening behind him. We go back to US Customs, where we see this cool little feature of the suitcase. Meaning he can hide what's inside from muggles or nomads as they're known in America. It's awesome that JK is still able to surprise us with new things. Newt showing his true colors with this scarf. Buff, buff represent! We get a first look at the main hall of Magical Congress. President Serafina looking super regal and awesome. There's a bunch of what looks like aurors running down the same flight of stairs Tina and Newt are going up. So it looks like this pair is up to none of the good. Side note. According to the book, Newt and Tina later get married and have three kids. And Adventure and sexual tension, yay! This newspaper gives us an idea of the state of the magical community with talks of witch hunts, risk of exposure of the community, and targeting a specific wizard who is wanted for wand counterfeit and murder, which definitely mirrors the first Red Scare of the 1920s, with people being persecuted and a lot of social tension. The Goldstein sisters take the boys to that speakeasy we saw earlier. People are saying that this new Shaw character might be a political threat to the wizarding community, but I think it's the opposite. Shaw's rally is clearly being picketed by the NSPS who are anti-wizard, so I'm pretty sure Shaw is pro-magic. However, the rally does seem to get attacked by something magical. What, like a dark wizard? Well, actually, I think whatever attacked the Shaw rally might be one of the beasts that escaped from Newt's suitcase. Perhaps the same one that destroyed the apartment in the teaser trailer. And gave these guys a oh hell no moment. Which is a bad thing, because that will support the claims that the NSPS say that witchcraft is evil. This bit made fans go crazy. Easy. We get a first look at a never before seen or read about creature. It has since been confirmed to be a swooping evil. We don't know much about this butterfly like creature, but Newt seems to release it as a last resort for him and Tina to escape these Gestapo looking horrors who are not happy to see them. Speaking of which, Graves is clearly a high ranking aura, but seems to be very hands on with this Newt case. Which is probably because historically American wizards have some strict rules, which meant they were segregated from Nomad and magical creatures. So it's no surprise that Graves doesn't trust Newt, because he is a magizoologist and he has non-magical friends. Niffler! Yay! Oh, he's so cute! I'm pretty sure this is what Newt was looking at in the bank scene from earlier. Tiny fuzzy troublemaker! Graves meets up with Serafina and her backing dancers to discuss the mountain of problems that are hitting them. And finally, the trailer ends with Newt getting into his suitcase and waving for Jacob Kowalski to join him. This is obviously Newt going down to his lab thingy as we saw that Jacob was there as well. Awesome! And that is it for this episode. Don't forget to watch part two of the video where we'll be talking about our predictions and theories about Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe and check out the other videos. Thank you for watching. Bye! Nuts.